Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alicia with Sea Star Soap Company. And on this channel, I talk about how I run my soap business, how I make things, I do a lot of experimenting, bath bombs, all that fun stuff. This video is gonna be a body butter video. It's been a while since I did a body butter video. So I had a supplier that messaged me and wanted me to try their product and they sent it over and I was very disappointed. So I'm in the mix of emailing them, letting them know what I think of their shea butter and yeah. So with that said, let me say this, all shea butter is not made the same. If you're gonna do cold process body butter, Brambleberry has the best shea butter, period. And let me tell you why. All the times I've used Brambleberry, I've never received my shea butter melted whatsoever. And I use their refined shea butter. Now these people, I'm not gonna say their names on here. You might recognize the brand, you may not. But this is how, I've used it obviously, but this is how I received my shea butter. So you can kind, it's really soft and you could tell that it has melted and solidified. Now with the cold process, you do not want to melt down your shea butter whatsoever. Ah, I'm so disappointed at the outcome, guys. Oh my gosh. So I did email that other company. I will not be using them again. So on this video, we're going to melt the shea butter down, cool it, and then make some body butter. They do say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So guess what, guys? We're going to make some lemonade get to it. So the first thing you want to do is measure out your shea butter and melt it down slowly. I'm going to do a double boil low heat. As soon as that melts down, I want to quickly cool it. So if it doesn't quickly cool, I risk the chance of it still being grainy. So what I'm going to do is after it's done, I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the freezer for about 15 minutes and then come out and break it. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes in the fridge. I get it to the point where it's cool, but not like a raw car. I'm actually gonna switch containers. Now that that's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the mixer. Okay, so once that's broken apart, I let it mix for about a minute or two. Then I'm gonna add in, on medium speed, my jojoba oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil. And then, fragrance oil. Now, at some point, you're gonna have to break apart. If you have a ball in here, just all the butters. Let's go ahead and stop it, and get all those guys out of there and continue mixing for about a minute. And then now I'm gonna add some arrowroot powder to it. I got that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and whip this on the fastest speed for about two, three minutes. I want it double the size, not triple or more than that. When I lift it up, I'm looking for a stiff peak. You do not want to over mix this. So as you can see, it's whipped and it doesn't look like it's melted and it's holding its shape. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of separate it in half. And then since this is an essential oil lavender, I like to add some ColourPop. I'm just gonna fold it in and kind of go in like a whisking motion to mix it in just to make sure that mica is worked all the way through. Here, I have my piping bag. I'm going to push it to one side. And then I'm gonna get some of this white in here and put the white on the other side. Okay, so I got my jars. These are four ounce jars, so I want at least three ounces in here. 
and everything on your surface should already be sanitized. So what I like to do is lay the back flat like that and kind of push everything to the front. So with this, I'm gonna make a little dab in the middle and then work my way around. And once I do that one rotation, I'm gonna go ahead and slam this. That way it compacts the air out of it. And again, going around, dabbing in the middle now. And then I'm gonna slam. And then I'm gonna go around one more time. And then wind up in the middle. And that's a little over three ounces, but you know, customers are gonna be happy that they get more. And there you guys have it, my lavender body butter. Now you could dazzle this up and throw some buds in there. I leave it how it is because I did add the mica and it does add a pop to it. So I'm actually gonna take some out of the bowl and demonstrate how it works. See, and it's melting right on my skin and I'm gonna work it in both hands. And this I love. It barely takes time to work in there. And it doesn't feel greasy. Like I feel like I can touch my phones and not have an issue. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you head over to my Patreon page, I have my new recipe there for you guys to have. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.